Hey ladies, as you know, it's hard to find a nice, comfortable pair of jeans that you can keep forever. And I think I found just that. I've been in the market for some jeans. I came across this luxury brand called La Gents and decided to splurge on a few pairs of their high-end Margot jean. These are the most expensive jeans I've ever owned, but I know that I'm worth it, so I bit the bullet and I bought them. After a couple of weeks of shipping issues, they finally arrived in time for my big trip to Turkey, and I was able to take a couple of pairs to wear with me while out there. I got them in four different colors and a couple different sizes because I wasn't really sure which would be a good fit for me. You can see here, this chart just kind of tells you the number that you should get based on what they offer. And I normally wear a four to a six, but decided to go with a 27 as well. And as it turns out, that actually ended up being a tighter, snugger, better fit for me. But the others fit just as well, so I am going to keep them instead of exchanging them for the size 27, which is a four. The second I put these jeans on, I fell in love. I didn't even know how to fucking act, as you can see here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing bending over. Who am I bending over for? I don't know. These jeans are incredibly smooth, lightweight, and most impressive for me, really stretchy. They felt very unrestrictive. I felt like I could move around any kind of way that I wanted and not have to readjust them after I stood back up. White is my favorite color of jeans. They're just beautiful and go with anything. You can dress them down with a pair of Keds, which are my favorite shoes, or dress them up with some beautiful expensive heels if you wanna go out for brunch and show off. Next up is the Venus shade. This is the darkest that I like to go for jeans. I'm not interested in black jeans or really, really dark colored jeans. I feel like this is the perfect deep blue and it goes with really any shirt or top that you have. It doesn't look so dark that it could be black like some other shades of blue. I like how my ass looks in this pair. I don't have Meg the Stallion cakes, most of us don't, but um, you know, I'm working with a little something something and I just like how flattering these jeans look on me. This color goes perfect with gray and it complements my Disney sweater that I got when I went to Disneyland a few weeks ago. These jeans are so stretchy. I think that even if you ordered a size too small, they're probably gonna accommodate you anyway, especially around the waist. Most jeans that we wear are just so tight, they really start digging into your stomach, especially the button, and that ends up hurting if you've been wearing them for you know a long period of time, and these jeans just do not give you those problems. This vintage white is an ivory creamy color, also goes with anything and it's gorgeous, I love it. Here I am putting on a fashion show for you in my room, just trying to give you a better idea of how they look on someone who is not a tall, skinny model on their website. And like most companies, they do have a lack of black women on their website, which implies that we can't afford it, but y'all already know if we want something, we definitely are going to find the coins to support that company. And they would make a lot more money if they just featured us. The Margot Jean is more expensive. It's running about $235 a piece. I think it is well worth the investment, even if you only buy one, it does seem like it's gonna last you a really long time. And the care of this jean is very simple. You just wash it turned inside out and let it air dry. So nothing too fancy. You don't need to take it to a professional, um, but I think it was worth it. I highly recommend you get at least one pair. So whether you want to practice your Megan knees or shake some ass and twerk like the city girls, this jean has you covered. Even though all of these jeans feel exactly the same, they're all made up of different combination of materials. So I just thought that that was interesting and wanted to share that with you in case you're picky about different fibers. Are these jeans worth your coins? Yes, they are Sugar Fuzz approved.